right, so this is Gabe DeSilva from DeSilva Homes. We're out here on one of his properties in Mountainside. He's looking to purchase. He hired us today to come out and investigate around an underground tank that was previously filled in place with sand. So uh, Gabe, why don't you tell a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here? Yeah, so as Teddy said, Gabe DeSilva, DeSilva Homes. We're uh, investors, developers, educators. We bought this property with the intention of going up on it, turning this into that. Ultimately, we found out that there's a sand filled tank here in the front yard and we need to get some clarity around what's going on with this tank. Is it in fact a leaker before we take possession of the house? Called Simple Tank, got these guys out here because they know this business inside and out. They'll be able to tell us with a good level of certainty what we're dealing with. It's important as an investor to know what you're looking at, how much you might be spending. Um, we don't take flyers. Uh, it's part about risk mitigation, not about just taking flyers. So he's, he's got some soil there that's got an odor to it. We know there's a soil that has an odor. The next thing we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna to try to delineate the soil, figure out how extensive it is. Uh, we'll take a couple probes around to see kind of where the plume is to determine the extent of it. All they do it's a yes or no test so they're just basically going to take a sample here run into the lab come back to you like yeah you failed but they don't give you any other information they don't gauge the depth they don't have no idea how deep it is how far it traveled they can't do it that's why you need this machine you can't do it by hand you can't get down yeah, 16 yeah. feet like you said in westfield you can't go 16 feet by hand with this equipment <laughs> that's why i was able to you know be able to offer this fixed price mm -hmm. contract because right. i could delineate the soils and figure out how extensive it is you know Ooh. Makes sense. this is not good news <laughs> Yeah, because it's really thick clay, which is good. It doesn't travel that far in the clay. So, um, less dense soil, worse. Oh my god, dude, sand. <laughs> Run, bro. This is like everywhere, bro. I'll be over the neighbor's house. <laughs> happy to have him come out here and the news wasn't great but at least we have the news we have the data and we can make the right decisions going forward yeah so what we found was there definitely contamination here so even though it was filled in place before um, what I was actually saying to Gabe before we even started is most likely they put the sand in this tank and put one in the basement because the tank was leaking okay so they they filled it in place we just delineated around it we found out there was contamination we know exactly how deep it is how far it traveled so now we'll go back run some calculations figure out an exact price it'll be a fixed number so he can then work that into his deal and then go negotiate with the seller so like I said not the best news but it's news that we need so we have the data to make the decisions and uh, puts us in a good position as an investor like I said we're not taking a flyer here we know what we have or we will once Teddy does his investigation further and gets us some numbers so uh, thankful for having had the opportunity to work with you guys again and uh, excited to try and figure this deal out once we get that data back so that's it all right man cool